How's it going boys and welcome back to the Morgur the Shadow Gave campaign. Last time we destroyed everything around Everheim and we are now pushing towards the Vampiric Lands to destroy Belvisor Gilt's faction and Morgur is going to continue on destroying the Empire up here. So before we end turn we're just going to upgrade Morgur to the max level on his Warherd and that means he's going to be able to start getting the best units. We're going to get some Gorgons, some Cygors in there, and of course the Jabber Slife as well. So I'm definitely going to be bringing him over to Kazrax enough to upgrade him with some big boys. Even though he does have quite a few big boys in there already. We also need to do a research here. We have a bit of money. We might as well just use it on one of these. So let's see. These are just straight up faction buffs. And over here is unit buffs. So let's see. Is there anything I really want right now? Uh, Saigor, not really. Uh, Bulgors, or Minotaurs, probably not really. Best of Resilience for the Maticors. Maticors, actually, not gonna lie, Maticor has been very, very good in, uh, Malagor's army, so I might do that. Give it plus 10 armor, and that regeneration is gonna be very, very nice on that unit. Maybe even get a few more Maticors in his army at some point as well. Uh, let's see... Do I need him for the... T they are two turns, and I need to spend some dread to get them. So I can get one more right now, so I might as well just leave it for now and get them later on. Alrighty, other than that, let's end the turn and continue on. Alrighty, a, a new a turn indeed. Wisman gets some stuff. Our research is complete. That's perfectly fine. Let us go with... What do we have? Just a normal one. Dread gave for battle. Let's take that. I probably should have took that a lot earlier on. But again, it is what it is. But I did want to look here at our turns. We're in turn 70. I feel like we are going to reach our long campaign before we reach turn 100 when the end terms is supposed to come in. So once we complete this, we're probably going to get the end game scenario popping in. If I checked that at the start, I don't remember. I hope I did. Morgan, you're going to head towards Needling and probably set up a herdstone right here. Go on in. Alrighty, decisive victory, low casualties, just an easy auto-resolve, not a problem at all. Hermeticor took a lot of damage though. That's okay, he'll replenish it without a problem. Now that's like that, that us give you the Jabber's Life building. And we need to get a bit more money so you can get the Gorgon building. Kazrak, you are now going to attack Schwarzhaven. Uh, do I want to put... I don't know if this area here is going to be part of the Hearthstone or not, but... I might put another Hearthstone right here in Schwarzhaven. Another easy decisive victory, so just auto that. Get in. Yeah, let's, let's just put a Hearthstone right here as well. Two Hearthstones go up. And now Kazrak's on his Razor Gore standard. Hmm. Now, I'll be honest, I don't want to fight the Vampire Counts here. I thought, uh, Guilty Boy had thing over here. Let's see. Guilt, 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 guilt. The Golden Order, you have one settlement. Up here. How do you have one settlement up here? Okay, with that, I don't really want to, uh... I don't want to go all that way to destroy guilt, so I'm gonna hope that one of the enemies that he has is, is happy enough to come and get rid of him, because I really don't want to chase him down okay whatever guilt it was a mini goal of mine but i have destroyed everything you own so i've did my part at least malagor what are you doing up here so we're gonna get some herd stones going up here and we're probably gonna start fighting uh, fighting uh kislev although i'm gonna put one here first and head down towards the empire as i say i need to destroy empire first and then it'll just be destroy anything just to get the total amount of sacks and raises going. So let us go to Sephastra. It will attack his love right away. But we do want to get the Hearthstone in there. So Malagor, move on up and encircle it so everyone can come and get the XP. In circle. Okay. Do, 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 do. Oh, wait, do I already have a Hearthstone here? Oh, I already have a Hearthstone here. Never mind. You're actually just going to attack Sephastra. That's okay. Is there any armies here that might attack the Herdstone? 
I don't think so. So let's just leave it as is. Torox. You're gonna start getting some stuff in your army quite soon. Um, You can start getting some Minotaurs, actually. Yeah, it's gonna take you two turns. So you know what? You stay in Castle von Rocken. Um, Get two of them. Two of them. And other than that, i just start giving you some random stuff. So you might as well take a Manticore, a Chaos Spawn, and a Gore Unit. I say just give him random stuff for now to fill up his ranks until he can actually get some good stuff. Uh, why? Why can I not use global? Huh, I don't know. That's okay. Uh, let's just fill it up with, you know, Gord Archie oh, camp because of that. Let's just go. Let's just go spearmen. And then that way they could be used to hold the enemy down while the monitors flank around. Uh, Bamu, you're gonna head towards Sylvester and probably help out. Uh, this Wolfenberg, Wolfenberg is too, way too hard for you. So you're just gonna help out over here. Move that booty. And Malagor, attack Savastra. And it's still a Pyrrhic victory. I don't think it is, if I'm honest with you. I do not believe this is a Pyrrhic victory whatsoever. Let's just attack it and do a normal battle. Alrighty, we are in. So how are we going to do this? I am thinking we are just going to pretty much swarm them and just try and get as many units in combat as possible to stop them from firing. Let's set the giants up to go that way, up this path. Manticores, you're going to go over here because you're going to be uh, lord sniping. And Malagor, you're just going to be at the front to cast some spells. Let's do that. Let's grab the giants. Oh, Ooh, God. Just had a little bit of a hiccup. Uh, the giants are going to stay on the ground, so I don't need to keep them in that formation. Let's start. Go. I said go. And of course, go. Giants, go. Right. You two into this. You two into this. You two into this. You two into this. Into this. Into this. Why are you not into this? Into this. Into this. Into this. I can't click them on the ground, apparently. Uh, where you're going a bit too far here into this metacores you know what one in here you can deal with the lords later uh, one here there is a lord right there all right uh, we'll move forward get a flock of doom where we need it probably over here that will do and then let's get a cyborg summon right here to deal with these czars and with that done we can now drop the aoe right here and all these streltsy and then you can boof over here. We probably shouldn't have put the thing over there, actually. Uh, the, the Flock of Doom, this side probably needed it a bit more. Uh, there's a lot of swarm in here, but not a lot over here. So let's come over this way with Malagor and give him a Helm of Discord right there. And you might as well join the fray. You're going to push up Cygor, go into melee there, deal with that. These harpies are running away, that's okay. We are taking a bit of damage. Don't really mind though. Alright, Strelzy's into there over this side. They are getting their Kislev uh, Unbreakable Shite. I uh, can't remember what it's called. By our will or whatever. Uh, we can see here our harpies are annihilating everything and our giants are stomping what's left that the harpies aren't dealing with. Keep pushing up there. That says you grab all the harpies if you want to. You. Let's push that way with these ones. That way. Uh, these ones that are left, you make sure these guys are gone. And giants, you're going to go into that one. The reinforcements have arrived. You might as well help out the manticore here is a bit on his own. Everything here should be pretty much dead. That Strozzi unit is back. Let's pop everything over here. Help him out. Malagor, keep pushing up. Get your charge speed. Uh, charge speed is kind of useless, to be honest. Go into there with the flock of doom everything else move on up here get into this battle i think we've pretty much won already to be honest so let's stop these causars from a firing and our harpies here they took a bit of damage who cares a harpy's a harpy it can die for all i care they are quite a shitty unit but they do do quite a lot of damage in melee but they are of course such a glass cannon they take so much damage but that's okay 
I bring push forward. Is there, is it really just these cars left? And that's it. Oh, it is. Oh, well, that was really easy. I didn't even see their lords. The medic was supposed to get rid of them real, real quick. A close a victory indeed. The enemy did, of course, misunderstand the horrors of a swarm of hobbies. Alrighty, loot gained. That's loot and raise. Get that herdstone going. Then drop us into hidden encampment whenever it doesn't want to lag anymore. Bamboo, hidden encampment, side Malagor. Uh, do I want to level anyone up right now? Probably not. Uh, bamboo, just beat the shit out of your own guys. That's fine. Do I want to level anyone up? Maybe. Maybe it'd be better to level them all up while I have the chance. Alright, Malagor, what are you going to get? Probably future mutations, because I do want to get monsters in your uh, squad very, very soon. Does that... Oh, that doesn't buff the... Manticore. Oh, the Manticore is already buffed. Never mind. Never mind, indeed. Okay, um... Kazrak, you are upgrading this stuff, I believe. You're trying to get Warhounds, I believe, is what it is. You want to upgrade your Warhounds. Yeah, you want monsters, you want best scores, and you want Warhounds, is what I remember. Uh, but you do have your own special line now. So let's start going through it. Special Cannon gives us a lot of bonuses during ambushes. Very nice. And of course, your Bray Shaman of the Wild. Abgrile Runeclaw himself. I don't know how you say that. We should really give you a different name. Let's give you... What shall we name you? We already have Lornel. Let's go... Ibahoff. Ibahoff. The Runeclaw. Oh, no, just Ibahoff T. The Runeclaw. I like that. Ibahoff the Runeclaw. Very nice. Alright, Kazrak, you can't do anything for this turn, but you can recruit. Is there anything you actually want? Chaos Bond? No. Um, Gores? No. No, I think you're all good, to be honest. I think you're all good how you are. Let's leave it as that. Bamboo, you need to get a level up. Let's give you... Maybe... Now, his army is mostly just, uh, Ungor Raiders. So I feel like we should probably just continue on in that front. Uh, because I don't really expect him to be doing much else. So let's just give you gargantuan hooves. And then let's just go down your... Because this isn't getting... This isn't good for us. This isn't good for us. So let's just go with... You know, take the distorted reality. You might as well. And then that's us for this. We got some buildings. The main ones is Morgers buildings, which we can upgrade the... We can upgrade the Bulgors. And we can upgrade this. Yeah, let's just go, let's just go with the Gorgon. Uh, next turn, you'll be able to get a Jabber Slives Morger. But you're probably not going to be doing that anytime soon because you've got a lot of stuff to kill. All right, let's end the turn and continue on. Oh, what is this? Oh, we have a quest issued for Kazrak, the Dark Male, his armor, I believe. What's against the Beastmen themselves? That might be a good little battle. We should see what his army is looking like. Uh, we probably need a bit more replenishment before we do that. But we have a new quest. I also have Malagor's quest to do. But I don't want to do that until he gets a bit more Manticores. Uh, I do have a bit of dread. What does it look like? Oh, Manticores. 478. Yeah, it's going to cost us. Of course, the Torox is going to have one in his army that he could trade over. Um, I don't know. This is bug still, where it's saying that I have zero unit capacity, even though these are taking the spaces because they are recruiting. Um, so I could literally do that and cheat the game, but I'm not going to do that. I don't want to do that anyway. Looks like Wolfenberg got destroyed. It looks like Neural Corruption, so it must be Festus. That's okay with me. Um, Appleberg. I feel like it might get destroyed as well. Who knows? Oh, uh, what is the Empire looking like, uh, settlement-wise? You are four. So what do we got? Krugenheim. Fort of Astroia. Appleberg. And Talapheim. So here's the four. 
Hmm, that's not bad. Right. I think, Kazrak, you're going to go to Fort Arbor Strike. So just go on out. Again, you need to just go into Hidden Encampment. Ooh, there's an army there. Hmm. I wonder if we can get a nice ambush on you. Let's sit you up, like, here. Maybe here. I kind of want to get it to where if he's going towards Morgar's way, he'll get an ambush that way, but... I don't I feel like he'll definitely go to either Needling first. Oh, Morgar, I just clicked for you, so... I guess you're going to attack for a strike. Anyway, you know what, Kazrak, come a reinforce. And Morgar, you're going to attack the fort. We'll go on, on in there. Let's see, it's a close victory. We can get an auto resolve in here with not a lot of casualties. What do they have? So some captains, great swords, mortar things, or rocket batteries. It might be a decent enough battle. We're definitely gonna win it. But let's do it anyway. To Fort Obestria. The battle for Fort Obestria. Morgan leads his warband straight into the fortress, destroying everything that comes in his path. The enemy is instantly going to start firing on us, but we do not care. They have a squad of knights up here ready to take a charge, and they have a lot of huntsmen and handgunners ready to shoot. Morgan's going to drop his ability to upgrade everyone's charge bonus and just send everything straight into these knights. They are going to hold and take a big brunt of it, but that's not going to keep them alive for long. They're going to rout real, real quick. The best of are in the Huntsman, and we have a pit of shades dropped into the handgunner units. On the far distance here, we have a pendulum dropping in on some crossbows, as well as the Knights of the Blazing Sun. Are these? Yes, there's a standard. Then we do have two very, very strong cav units in the army. I just need to find them somewhere. So they got halberdiers, they got swordsmen, they got great swords, standard. Uh, Empire stuff. So we are charging anything that we can see, just trying to get everything into combat. At this point, I'm getting nice little kill blobs. A nice blob coming up here, a nice blob coming up here. Then I'm going to set up another blob over here to head up this, and then that way the enemy is getting attacked from all sides, stopping them from firing into all our units. The best of our speed and our normal gore speed is great for this. It's especially good for flanking around the enemy and hitting their shooters in the back. In this battle, we also have a squad of Warhounds hidden over here in the trees. We have a squad of Centigors over here. The squad of Centigors is going to take this point, get rid of all of the uh, the towers there. And these Warherd Hounds are going to come down here and take out all the missile infantry while we blob up over here and do a bit of damage. Going to drop another pit of shades, but I'm actually going to miss it with Lornal. So not a lot of damage on this one, but we did catch out a few Halberdier units. Our Chaos Spawn of Razor Gores are dealing with Halberdiers left and right. The best of Gores are coming in the back to help out. But the most important right now is our Chaos fucking wall sending me flying. Our Chaos Giant is fighting their Lord. Chaos Giant, every swing is doing a lot of damage to him. Let me actually see how much damage it does. Quite a, quite a bit. Quite a bit. Like an eighth of his HP every time. We have, of course, these knights. This is the knights I was looking for right here. This one, Stubborn Bulls, Empire Knights with great swords. These guys are very good. They did quite a bit of damage in this battle, as well as if I can find them. Oh, the river I said I had another Death Star coming over here. Send the chaos spawn up here, and I've made a nice little blob up here. They have a loads of knights in here. Halberdiers, great swords, bit of everything in here. Uh, Empire Knights, no. Where are you? I'm looking for you. Not Knights of Blazing Sun either. Where are they? Are they over here? Yes, they're over here. The Cyclers Ragsguard, a regiment of renown unit. They are very, very beefy. They got the anti large as well. So our Centigors, as soon as we saw them, we were like, nope, pull them out. They're going to murder us. So I'm just going to try and get them caught up by something that's not large and hopefully deal with them. Of course, their rocket batteries and mortars are firing on Kazrak's forces that are coming in from the other side. Kazra's going to come in on a charge on his Razor Gore mount, and that chariot charge is kind of useless. Kazra, you need to learn how to actually do a big charge. Manticore's going to come in and show you how it's done, though. Straight into the middle of everything, demolishing that unit. That Jabber Slave. I was so excited for that Jabber Slave, and then you just started to freeze in the air. What the fuck was that? 
He just completely ignored it. He literally just jumped over all the enemy units and came to the back here and deleted a Halberdier squad. Their Hellbrayer Braster rocket batteries are firing into our line. They're doing a bit of damage to all of Kazrak's best of orders. But they're going to come in and clean up everything in the middle. All the while, of course, our, our flanks, or whatever the fuck this is called over here, is doing pretty well. We have Lornel who moved over here and casted some spells over here, and he dropped a a uh, Psygor summon. So as you can see from all of the depths, there may or may not have been a little pit of shades here. Oh, of course. And the Psygor there is going to help on out. Another pit of shades over here, because there is a great sword unit in the middle of all this chaos spawn and best of gore nonsense. It's doing quite a bit of damage to us. I also have a enemy lord right here. I feel it's just a hero that uh, Lornel is going to just charge. And once he charges them, he is going to get routed real quick. We have a Metagore over here to stop these handgunners from firing. But here is the Scyther's Reichsguard. They are going to come in on our Chaos spawn. And they are going to absolutely rinse us. We're taking a lot of damage on our spawn here. I've already pulled one of them out. Let him regenerate, as you can see right there. He's running away to regenerate so we don't lose that unit. And we're sending the Chaos Warhounds up because they do have anti large. They're going to hit the Reich's Guard, Reich's whatever they are called. You can see a lot of the enemy units is routing over here, so we've pretty much won this flank. There's a hero over there as well, so the Chaos Giant's moving up there. We defeat him, and of course, Kazrak's going to come in for a nice charge in the back of all these Huntsmen. And these swordsmen over here. And I think there's a handgunner unit here as well. All of them are going to get bugs. And once Kazrak drops all his AoEs, the enemy realize fighting is futile. And there is no point whatsoever fighting the wrath of the beastmen. Well, a nice, easy, decisive victory there. Of course, I loved Kazrak coming in in that flank and instantly win the battle as soon as the enemy saw his chariot coming in for the kill. Anyway, let's continue on and then let's loot and raise it, take the money and the devastation. Alrighty, let's see. Kazrak, go into hidden encampment now. You're going to head up towards Krugenheim probably and probably help out Morgur with Krugenheim and Talopheim most likely. Other than that, we don't really care. After that, we're probably going to just attack either Kislev Lance, maybe even attack the Wood Elves, and maybe the Vampires, just to... I mean, the Vampires might be an easy target here. Because free settlements, easy enough. Get rid of them, and then it adds free settlements to our victory conditions. So maybe, Kazrak, you might stay and deal with that. Of course, I do want you to get some replenishment in, so you can finally destroy uh or do your quest battle uh, all righty hidden cabin for morger head towards krugenheim that's right use that 0.1 percent of movement you have to move on up there then malagor where are you gonna go next you're probably gonna head towards kappelberg we might as well just attack uh Dreyka here for the extra points so morger attack buck back of form and Bamu, you can join him as well. Can you make it? You're not going to make it, are you? No, you're not going to make it. Just in circle. Uh, of course, I could easily win these in auto resolve, but I do want Bamu to get the XP as well. So, back Calvin. Auto resolve. Loot and raise. Alrighty. Dragon's faction should be easy enough. Um, I feel like the only problem is if she comes at us with a really heavy monster army um that's probably gonna be the only problem for malagor at least torox you got another turn of recruitment uh you have a few spaces you can fill up though but let's take two chaos spawn yeah uh, you can take chaos spawn from here can you no you can't uh buildings wise you can't get anything to your like max level so we're just gonna leave that as is you have the army ability. Do you have the dread one? You do indeed. You're pretty much sorted for what you really want. Uh, income generated. Campaign movement. Movement range for all factions. I feel like we got that on all our armies. What are we going to get like an extra 5% on everyone? 
really, really not that good. So you're just gonna chill there, Torox, for now. And you could even might even be able to put the Eye of More Sleep in there for you, give you an artillery piece. I was gonna put it on Kazrak though, but he already has artillery pieces, so let's just leave it as is. Uh we're getting lots of talismans and all that cool stuff. It's alright. Let us just end the turn then. Ooh, he's got low beast rage. The Torx, Torx beat the shit out of your own guys. Good job. End the turn. A new turn is upon us, and a foreign trespasser, or some Dowie somewhere. Oh, down here on this herd zone, which I don't really care about here. Uh, Kazrak, should you attack... Should you attack a Drakenhof is the question. It is extra things towards our long campaign. If we think about this, we destroy one, two, three... 59 and then we're still gonna need like 20 so yeah you might as well do this as rec go towards temple hoff and give it a go i feel like you should be able to do this of course your army's not that good against sieges but uh you might as well it's just a bunch of undead anyway who cares head on in there or don't head on in there already a valiant defeat you say hmm they do have some really nice units in here, actually. Uh, car rays are going to be a big problem. We don't have magical attacks. The grave guard, kind of trash, to be honest. But uh, we should be able to get rid of them with the best of course. They move all that stuff. You know what? Let's come back to this, and then we'll fight it probably in the next episode because we are running out of time for the start of the next episode. Morgar, however, you're going to head towards Krugenheim. It should probably be an auto resolve anyway. That auto resolve that nice loot and raise. Then go into your hidden encampment. The hidden encampment, yes, indeed. You're gonna head towards you're probably gonna head towards Talapheim and then come back. Um Although Malagor might be able to come down here, and then Morgor, you can head up here, get rid of the wood elves, Draka and Sorch. Maybe that's a better option for you, and then keep getting this Hearthstone going? Yeah, might be a better option. So, yeah, Morgor, you're gonna head this way. And Malagor and Bamu, you're gonna head towards Talibheim to get rid of the Empire. We'll go to Kappelberg, and Bamu move up beside him. Did I just miss it? I just missed it. Okay. Yes, 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 things that are happening. Bamu, move up. Kappelberg. Auto resolve. Loot and raise. God damn, we are destroying a lot. Okay, let's go. Hidden encampment. Push down. Bamboo. Hidden encampment. Sit beside Malagor. You should want this little bitch, to be honest. Took quite a damage there, Bamboo. So just take some Ungor Raiders again. I don't know why you only have two recruitment slots. Uh, Malagor, take another Harpy. I kind of want to keep these ones because they are... Uh, they are of good XP. The other ones aren't really that much. And in four and higher, I'll probably just keep, to be honest. Leave it like that. Torox, you're kind of good, to be honest. I think you're kind of good on your army. You might want to push up and fight Kislev on your own. I don't know how well you'll do on your own, but we can give it a go. Is there anything else we want to keep? Maybe the Resident Renowned Centigorge? And Ungor, maybe just take them both and then you head towards Urengad. A group of them and head that way. Pack Crostolin. Then this way we should have lots of places to destroy. Torox, you're on your own. They have... Hmm. Okay. You're not as strong as I think you might be, actually. I might need to not do this. Uh, give the weapon strike to them, make them even stronger. We could break down this wall without a problem. Get in there with a Minotaurs. Your spellcaster's kind of useless right now. All he's got is the Volve. You're a beast as always, so you should be good enough in this one. So I might try this battle again in the next episode. Maybe. Maybe. Let's see what else we got. Let's start leveling people up. So I have a half of the Rune Claw. Let's give you... Mental Gorks. Very good, but the R minus... 
pretty armor. It's, it's really only good to put it on a chariot or something. Uh, it just takes savage dominion for now. Malagor, you are just going through the red line. So it'll take call of violence and Lornal. Uh, cool down on spells. Yeah, might as well get the bit of shades going a lot faster. Alrighty, and Morgan, you're all good. I think you're pretty much sorted. I think the only thing I need to do now is either go into lightning strike, which probably won't even need. Although it might be nice on the the end game armies. Maybe not. Let's just take price horns and unnatural first for now. Finish this line, then we'll go for the blue line with you. Okay, right. Buildings, buildings, buildings. We get the Bulgors, but we don't really need them in your side. I feel like, unless I can get you beside Torox, which I could maybe get Torox to come down this way, but probably not worth it, to be honest. Let us just upgrade some of your stuff. So let's get to Dread Building. Dread Building is quite nice. Uh, shamans, you don't need shamans. Any of these you want? Not really. Any of these you want? Not really either. We do want to start upgrading or giving you some big boy units. So you can get Chaos Spawn now. The the big boy Chaos Spawn. So I actually kind of want to do this because... I mean, it, it's Morgor. Morgor needs Chaos Spawn of all sorts. I do want to give him a few Jabber Slives as well. I think that's it. I don't really want to go Gorgons or anything like that because Jabber Slife is mutation to the maximum as long as jammer slice are getting upgraded from this yes they are okay let's upgrade morger for a few turns here his army at least and then that should be his end game army sorted so let's get rid of oh i did want to put another bestigore in here let's have a look at our dread first it's gonna cost us a lot to put another best score in so maybe not do that so let's just put it in jammer slice twice so I'll give you two Jabber Slice for this army. So two Jabber Slice. Let's get rid of... Oh, the, the, the rank makes you want to give it to someone else, but I don't think we can get another Lord, can we? No, we can't. Okay. Let's just get rid of stuff. So we're going to get rid of you. Maybe you. I did want three Best of Wars, but... Uh, We'll keep this one because he's he could be hidden, which is pretty decent. Manticore probably don't even need it that much. Um, because right now I need four... Five, I need six spaces. So let's go you, you. Let's, let's actually just merge the Chaos Spawn. I guess that. So we need four spaces. You, you. And... Let me get rid of these because the hounds are somewhat better. Because of regeneration at least. Or even the razor gores. They take quite a bit of damage, but they do deal a bit of damage. But they are armored. You know what? Let's get rid of the razor gores. Do that. And then we have six slots available. So let's take the spawn of Nurgle, spawn of corn, spawn of Sinch, and spawn of Slanesh. And three Jabber Slives. Uh, was it free I wanted? I feel like it was. Let's drop. Or maybe leave it as so. And then I could give one of the Jabber Slice to someone else. I kind of want Kazrock to come up here so we can get a Gorgon though. Hmm. I know, we'll leave it like that. Two Jabber Slice. All of the different Chaos spawns. And then I do want, actually, I want Kazrak to get the God-Blessed Gorge. That would be quite nice. So I might actually do that at some point as well, because it feels like it would fit his army the best. So, I don't know. We'll leave it as is. Next time, however, Kazrak is going to attack Castle Hebelhoff. To them, my friends. Peace.